What's up, Gold Diggers? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Gold Rush! Alright, so last video, we found a way to get a massive, massive amount of Magnetite, guys. Um, if you want to make a killing in this game, go back and watch my last video and do it now, because I think this is a bug, I think it's unintentional, and I think it's going to get fixed. So basically, um, you could fill up buckets with the stuff that comes out of the back of your mobile wash plant and the side, right? And you can just get, it, it's free magnetite, and I don't think it's intended. Um, as a matter of fact, some people said that the, oh God, I almost said the fun pimps. I'm, think, I'm thinking about freaking seven days to die. Um, some people have actually said that the developers are aware of it and are going to fix it. So take advantage of it now, people. Take advantage of it now and get rich. Rich is a mother effing king. Okay. So, that's most of what we did last video. Today, we are going to sell the magnetite. We're going to do some more digging, we're going to buy a second wash plant, and we're going to save for a big extractor. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So, when I came on this morning, um, two of my workers were not assigned. So, every time you log into the game, guys, check your workers. I would say, even check your workers during the day, right? Um, we're going to go right here, and we're going to hire... Uh, let's see what I got here. 42, 30... Yeah, those guys kind of suck. I'm going to leave those guys alone. I want to hire more workers. And I was watching some Let's Plays, and I have workers that can work on the small extractor, the hog pan pump, the hog pan no pump, and the hog pan pump. I don't think I have two hog pan pumps. I'm pretty sure I don't. So I don't know why. The, I Because basically what happens is, the this is, I, I thought the stuff down here was just generic stuff, like hog pan pump, hog pan no pump. I didn't know this stuff was actually stuff that I had in the field. So basically, the more stuff you have in the field, the more workers you can have, right? So um, it might make sense to, I, I guess, maybe you could buy more hog pan no pumps and set them up. No, you can only have one set up. Yeah, that's right. So how do I have two no? How do I have two hog pan no pumps? And does stuff actually have to be set up? Like, could I buy more hog pan pumps and just throw them on the floor and have these people work them? I'm not really sure how that works, but. Uh, yeah, I want to get some. I want to get some more items, and uh, I might even test that out. Not right now, though. I just want to make sure they're all working. And um, we are actually losing money. We're not losing money. We're losing money and gaining gold. We have to make some money because we're not going to be able to afford uh, to pay back our loan um, and pay these guys for more than another day. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go sell the magnetite right now. Um, look at this parking job, huh? How do you like that? We're going to go sell the magnetite right now. Now, people told me with a full load you will get ten thousand dollars, but. A lot of people were saying also that some of the stuff I was putting in the Magnetite trailer was not actually, um, hold on, sorry, was not actually um, Magnetite. It was, uh, some of it was dirt or something. So some people said you might not get the full, you know, 10,000 if it's not all Magnetite. So I didn't know that. Um, I was under the impression as the buckets f filled, they changed colors, but some people said if they're a different color, it could be dirt. I'm not really sure. This is, uh, oh boy, I probably should have my thing on. Well, whatever, I'm going to leave it off now because I'm about to drive on concrete. So if you want to sell the magnetite, this is where you do it. Okay, here we go. So you just kind of park over this thing, hit your brakes. Don't even bother shutting your, don't even bother shutting your car off because I don't think it can run any gas anyway. And then you come over here to this little thing. Okay, so we're at, um... About 2,400. Let's see what we get. So you come to this little lever right here and you empty it. One. You empty it again. What did I say? 37? Oh, yeah. That was 10,000. All right, guys. I just went back and checked the video. And yes, I got exactly 10,000. So, um, yeah. I don't know what you guys were talking about with dirt or something. But that was all magnetite. So that is freaking awesome. Now let's go to town. And let's um, turn some of this gold into gold bars. And then I'm going to buy myself... A oh, no, no, no. We're not going to town with this thing. we got to actually drop it. Now, we're going to actually drop this off at, back at base. Because um, we don't need to bring it into town. And the thing is, um, I'm going to get the mobile wash the mobile wash plant. And I'm going to need... Uh, I'm going to need to be not carrying anything on my, on my truck. Because I'm going to need to carry the mobile wash plant. Now, here's the thing. I was considering getting another Magnetite trailer. Alright? Oh. I hit my parking brake. Not parking brake cage. Q. There we go. All right. There we go. Hey, this is my first recording of the day, guys. Please bear with me. Anywho, um, I was thinking about getting the mo the uh, the magnetite trailer. I was thinking about getting a second one because this thing this thing's gonna fill up fast. But here's the thing, guys. The magnetite trailer is what like five thousand dollars. Just get ten buckets. Why would you even have two magnetite trailers? Think about it. Let's think about this logically. Well, why would you ever want a magnetite trailer? Just get 
10 buckets, right? Well, the reason you want a magnetite trailer is because you can carry it over to the place where you sell it. And I don't even think you could dump buckets down there. I think you have to have the magnetite trailer to sell the magnetite. Although I've never tried it, but I, I'm pretty sure that's the way it works, right? Okay, so you need the magnetite trailer to get the magnetite over to the, the sell point, right? Okay, fair enough. But um, why not buy a second one? Well, because you don't, you can't take two at once, <laughs> all right? Unless you got some kind of truck that can, that can uh, you know, uh, tow over two of these at once. Getting buying two is completely pointless. What you do is you just get extra buckets because getting ten buckets is cheaper than a magnetite trailer. You get ten buckets and you just keep the buckets over here. You fill up the magnetite tra the magnetite trailer. If you still have more magnetite coming in, you kind of place the buckets around here. You know, once you run out of buckets, then you take the magnetite trailer in. You know, I think that's the best way to go. So I'm not going to buy another magnetite trailer. Um, no, that's not being that's not be me being cheap. That's me being practical. So, <laughs> I don't know. I guess you can call it cheap, but it makes sense, right? So, all right. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to get the mobile wash plant. Now, you guys have told me, um, okay, basically the reason I'm going to get the mo mobile wash plant is because I am, I am aiming for the big extractor. I've watched people use the front loader. I am not... I'm not going to say I'm not a fan of the front loader. The front loader is cool, but the big extractor is better. All right? It's just that simple. Um, at least... I think it is. Uh, maybe I haven't watched enough video. Maybe I watched the wrong video. I don't know. And th let me let me put this as plainly as I can, guys. I'm going to eventually get the front loader. I will because um, first of all, I want to thank you guys for supporting the hell out of this channel. Uh, this cha well, channel too. But you're also supporting the hell out of this series. You really like this game. You like watching me play it, and that makes me very happy. And as long as that, uh, as long as that. Um, engagement as long as that enthusiasm is there these videos are going to be coming out four four times a week you guys are asking for for daily uh, i can't do daily this game is very grind heavy uh, and plus there's other games i want to play so unfortunately i can't do daily but um four days a week you know um definitely no matter what uh unless you guys stop caring and stop watching but um you guys have been loving this game and um you know i'm here to make videos for you so i i realize you love this game so i'm gonna keep making more videos so with that in mind as long as uh, this this game keeps doing well on my channel, I'm going to keep playing it, and I will get everything in the game. I will, whether I need it or not. Uh, a lot of you guys in the comments, uh, most of you guys, everybody, is saying that tier three uh, tier three machines are absolutely not worth it. They suck. All right, so st you guys are telling me to stick with tier two, and I'm a practical guy. If you tell me to stick with tier two, I'm going to stick with tier two, right? But in the interest of doing a let's play, I will eventually go to tier three just to see what it's like. Plus, I imagine the, the developers are going to fix that because the fact that um, the fact that tier I, tier three is useless is kind of dumb. Um, so yeah, so we'll eventually get everything done, but I'm going to go with the optimal way first, and then we'll check out everything later on when I'm rich. So two mobile wash plants, all right? Two mobile wash plants work pretty well with the front loader, uh, but I think the extractor is even better. Uh, the big extractor. I'm a fan of the extractor, um, so I'm going to get the big extractor instead. I might also want to grab some buckets while I'm here in town. Just get some more buckets. They're freaking awesome. They're worth their weight in gold. They really are. No pun intended exactly. All right, 6.4. Make the gold, my friend. Throw it in there. All right, I think it's in there. Right, somewhere. Behind one of the buckets, who cares? All right, let's see how much we get for this gold. And then I'm going... Look at this. I'm already up to point point zero two. I'm, a, I'm already up to a quarter of a tenth of an ounce. That doesn't make any sense. Um, I got a lot of ounces. I've got all of the ounces. My, uh, my workers are awesome. I should probably also buy another hog pan and see if that lets me hire another worker. That would be a good thing to do. Well, let's sell the gold first, and then we'll grab some more buckets. <laughs> I love buckets. Hey, man, I'm, I'm a fan of buckets. What can I say? All right. So there we go. Let's go on in here. We're still at around 11000 but just about $12,000. Um, so go, let's see what the stock is. Twelve oh eight. It's always twelve oh eight, pretty much. It looks a little bit... Oh, wait. No, it's... Wait, this is 1208, and but it's above 1208, isn't it? I don't know. Whatever. I'm making good money. Whatever. 6.36. Sell. Cancel. And we're now up to almost $20,000. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, don't forget, we still got that. We're still losing $1,000 a day. I don't know when that's going to stop. Or maybe it did stop. I don't know. Let me check. I didn't actually look. Yeah, I didn't hit my parking brake. Who cares? I didn't actually look at the loans. I, I, I would like for the developers to make it so these loans will tell you how much longer you have on them. So I still have the loan, but I can't really tell how much longer I have on it. Um, I could probably go back and watch the video. Maybe one of you guys could tell me, but... Oh, hold on there, buddy. Hold on. You're, you're good. You're good. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's some freaking Harry Potter stuff right there, man. Oh, boy. 
All right, so let's come on here. Let's get the mobile wash plant, the second one. This is $13,000, no joke. This is going to take actually most of my money. I didn't even realize that. That kind of blows. But, eh, you know, it's going to it's gonna work out in the long run. And the thing is, um, I mean, I could wait and just get the extractor first. But getting the big extractor with one mobile wash plant is kind of like, no. <laughs> you're going to fill up the mobile... You're gonna fill up the mobile wash plant um, in no, in no time with the big extractor. So, all right. So let's buy another one of these bad boys. Okay. Can I get a discount for spending so much money here? I mean, why am I still paying full price? Let me get another few buckets. There we go. All right. And uh, I'm gonna take this stuff back. I'll see you guys back at the claim. All right, guys. I've spent most of the night trying to get these things into the perfect position. Um, I think I might have them in a good position now. So let's get in and see. Um, if once we set this up, it's good to go. So you only have to do it once. All right, so go there. And yeah, that one's that one's perfect. That one is perfect. Let's see about this one. Uh, that one is uh, it's about as good as I'm going to get it. I mean, it's not on the right angle, which worries me a little bit. But I think overall, though, it's probably going to work. All right, so let's turn this thing off. Let's get out. Let's come on over here. I got all my buckets lying all over the place um i am going to need a fat cable uh for the electricity i know i bought a couple fat cables and i'm only using one so where could the other one be i think it's um actually we got to unhook this thing i think it's actually back in my little tent area here we go uh, i forgot to pick up the hog pan pump and stuff like that i, I wanted to to like kind of to kind of test to see if i could hire more people um but i forgot so we'll do that another time we'll do that another time uh, the extra wash plant doesn't doesn't need a worker, so that didn't really help. Um, that's one good thing that would be nice about the front loader. I don't know how much the front loader is, but I'm sure it's cheaper than the extractor. Uh, I'm sorry, the excavator. God, here we go with the extractor crap again. Anyway, I think it's more than the uh, excavator, but and it would also give you the ability to have another worker. But I'm still gonna go straight for the big excavator because the hell with it. All right, so what do we got over here? There we go. That's what we need. See, that's why you buy extra. And I'm probably gonna, I, I, you know what? I always want backups and stuff hang, like, hanging around that I don't need. Just ba extras. So I don't have to interrupt the Let's Play to go back to town. So I think next, oh, I also need more water pumps. I'm gonna need at least, I might buy three more water pumps. Maybe four. And a bunch of, a bunch of hoses. I don't like where this hose is going through. It's getting in the way. Um, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have the hose go probably on this side. I'll have it go straight across here and then come out uh, from the woods over there. And just, I want the hose out of the freaking way, is what I'm trying to say. All right, so let's, uh, well, let's, let's try this thing, guys. I think we're just about ready. We just have to set up a couple buckets and we'll be good to go. All right, so, well, we should turn that off. Now, you, I don't think you have to ever fill up the gas in your truck, which is kind of annoying, actually. Um, but I guess they don't want you to get stuck and have to run back to town. Um, but, yeah, you don't have to fill up the gas in your, in your truck, which... I'm not a, I'm not a fan of. So you could leave it going as long as you want. Although I won't because it's, you know, it's um, kind of immersion breaking. All right, so we're gonna bring this right over here and go over here and actually I don't like where that is. I kind of want it out of the way of the digging. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it up a little bit and kind of just get it out of the way. There we go, much better. Okay, so now we got that plugged in and we're gonna need another hose, which I totally forgot to get. Okay, guys, took some uh, setting up, but I think I finally got this ready to rock. Let's turn this on. That's doing good. It's getting water and electricity. Uh, turn this on. This should be fine. Um, yep, water and electricity. I've got four buckets under the back. Now, I don't think I need four buckets under the back, but I'm going to do it anyway. Two buckets on the side here. Um, a bucket there. Four buckets in the back. Two buckets on the side. I think we are ready to rock. Once I get the big extractor, this is going to be... Um, this is gonna be insane. This is gonna be insane. And that's what we're working for. Now, I hate going back to town and turning in my gold repeatedly because it's kind of a long drive to go back to town. So what I want to do here is I want to live on the magnetite. I want to use the magnetite to pay my workers and pay off my loan and not have to go back to town and just save up a ridiculous amount of gold. I guess save up 60 ounces of gold. That's probably what it'll take for the, uh, for the big extractor. Okay, excavator digging. Let's bring this up. I haven't done this in a couple days. All right, there we go. That should be good to go. So now we'll just uh, T. Yep. Actually, remember T. Look at that. All right, 67. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so I remember opening. We want to open up this more. Bring this out. There we go. Now bring this down. 
All right. There we go. W, W, W. There we go. I gotta move that, um... Oh, no. No! No! Cage. Cage, 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 cage. There we go. Like I said, I have to get used to the controls again. Um, there we go. So bring that up. This brings that out. This brings that up. This is a horrible amount of, uh dirt but that's okay now i'm not going to be filling up these extractors uh the point of getting the second extractor wasn't so much for the setup i have now it's more for in the future but what i'll do is i'll fill one up i'll fill one of the buckets up with uh pay dirt and then i'll just fill the next one up that way i don't have to get out of the extractor as much all right so let's bring this out let's bring this down we kind of want to get uh the big extractor is going to help us dig deeper as well um part of the reason you want the big extractor is because you can see right now i'm having trouble Getting to the, getting to the, uh, oh boy, can you, can you actually, uh, turn this over? Hmm, you might be able to. So, I think digging really deep, uh, that's why you want the, that's why you want the big extractor. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, actually. Alright, so we gotta be careful, uh, when we're digging that deep that we don't, we don't screw ourselves over. Alright, so this is gonna be, no, 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 uh, R, right, R, yeah. There we go. You know what, let's go, let's go to the dig cam. I do like that better. There we go. All right, yeah, that's much better. All right, I like, I love me some dig cam people. Okay. All right, so we can't go that deep. So let's come on over here. Like I said, uh, we really, really need to get rid of that. Get, uh, get rid of that hose, man. It is majorly in the way. Majorly in the way. That's gonna be my next thing for next video. As a matter of fact, uh, as soon as I'm done here, I'm probably gonna write it down. Um, move the, move the water hose. Big, big problem for me. All right go looking good looking good now we should be able to maybe if we extend this as much as possible we can kind of get on the outside there we go yeah that's not so bad f so now we want uh w and f and w and f no i was pressing g w and f cage w and f there you go all right now we want to actually bring this down a little bit so we don't spill any f there we go uh f there we go all right that was good it took a while but i'd rather i'd rather not go so fast and not spill the dirt i hate spilling the dirt i'd rather have those big payloads those big 60 plus payloads all right so let's come down here and there we go so this is a w and now now that we close that up we go to f and then we go t and then we bring this up and f bring that up and f there we go that's the smooth motion I was looking for. This this really is um something you have to, you know, you, if you don't do it for a few days, you kind of lose it, you know. All right, cool. So we've been getting sixty percent on a regular basis. That's really nice. Well, that was unbelievably inefficient. Um, I almost had the pay dirt bucket filled up a hundred percent, and I never checked the damn magnetite bucket. So I probably wasted about forty percent of the pay dirt bucket. I probably could have got way way more of this stuff. Um, although I wasn't paying attention, and it's not exactly 10%. So maybe the buckets weren't as full as I thought. Maybe they weren't. I'm going to have to pay attention to that. And um, the, I, as far as I can tell, you're only you're better off just putting down two buckets. You don't need four. I don't think uh, four fills up. Because I put down four, 90%. Only the two in the middle were filled up. So two buckets is fine. I, w I pretty much thought that's the way it was. But didn't know 100%. All right, let's check the... Um, Let's check the buckets over here. Yeah, only one bucket in the back as well. So, all right, fair enough. All right, so this is... Let's pay attention to how much we're getting to. I assume they'd be full, but... All right, so that was only 9%. So they're not being full at half anymore. Like, remember, like, last video? Like, I got them full at, like, 50% of payload? I'm not really sure. I mean, it's, it's obviously a bug, so it's probably not working properly. So, whatevs. But I was just curious about that. All right, so we're good there. Let's get back in this bad boy. Let's keep doing this. We definitely need the big extractor, man. We really, really, really need the big extractor. Like, no joke. Alright, so we're going to bring this up a little bit. We're going to come down here. Go like that. Bring this up. Bring this in a little bit. Nope. Actually, it doesn't need to go in a little bit. Let's bring it over here. Alright, so it's at 90%. So let's go ahead and dump one more full pay dirt in there. Um, I'm going to be careful how much I throw it. I throw in there after this because I don't want to, I don't want to waste any dirt. Alright, there we go. Bring this over here. Now we're going to start using this one. I haven't messed around with this one yet. Um, let's see. That looks pretty good to me. Alright. 
I don't know if it's weird that it's on an angle. I don't think it is. I think I got everything there. So let's see if we can um, let's see if we can fill that one up. Oh boy, bust some dirt there. All right, fair enough. All right, so there we go. Oh yeah, that was a, that was a bad one. That was a bad one. Let's bring this up a little bit. There we go. Bring that down. And bring that up first, then bring this up together. You want to keep it nice and level. That was a good one. That was a good one. Alright, and there we go. Oh, man, 72%? Damn, bro! That's what I'm talking about. It's rare to get 72%. Oh, God, I brought that up too fast. I lost dirt. Damn it, I couldn't see. Alright, there we go. Alright. Let's see if we can get that. Let's see if we can get that full. Come on. Come on. Nope, no, no, this is a terrible one. Alright. This one sucks. We're not going to be able to fill it. Oh well. See, I'm not bringing it up fast enough. That's the problem. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to hurry. Whenever I try and hurry, I lose stuff. That's okay, though. It's fun. Alright, guys. I figured it would make more sense to dig on the side where the mobile wash plant is. <laughs> so that's what I started doing. Started digging on the side where the mobile wash plant is. All right, we're up to 81%, 36, this should not go over 100. All right, 95, that was really good. All right, as long as I don't have to move the small arm, I can keep that thing full. It's when I have to move the small arm that things get a little dicey. All right, there's not a lot in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and dump it. All right, so that thing's in the 90% in range now, so now we have to be careful not to put too much stuff in it. That was a horrible dig. Let's try this again, shall we? Shall we? There we go. That's better. Bring this in. There we go. Looking good. Alright, so that's going to be 100%. So let's get this one up to 100%. There we go. There we go. That's 100%. That's 100%. Let's make sure this is really 100%. I know I'm wasting a little bit, but that's okay. I've had stuff when it's up to 100%. If it's just barely 100%, it doesn't, gi it doesn't give me the full 90% on the magnetite table, which leads me to believe that I should fill it up more. All right, so let's turn this off. Let's come out out here. I have been uh, taking magnetite over to the magnetite trailer. Uh, should, we should we close this off or do one more? I think we're going to do one more load. So let's bring this over here. All right. I will do one more load, but I'll do it totally off camera, and then we will run everything through the magnetite uh, separator. And then the wash table and see how much gold we get. All right, guys. One of these uh, mobile wash plants is full. And the other one is well on its way to being full. So we're almost there. All right. So let's bring this up over here. And what are we at? We're at uh, 69%. Oh, lols. All right. Can we bring this up? It's kind of weird. It's, it looks kind of low, doesn't it? Oh, well. There we go. 55%. I have been emptying out all of the uh, magnetite buckets. The magnetite doesn't seem to be, like, uh, stable, right? Like, sometimes you get some magnetite, sometimes you don't. I I'm not really sure. You can see right there one of the buckets is full below me. Not really sure how it works. Um, let's go ahead and move the R. R. Is, is the thing in the way? Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck here. Yep. I was, I was stuck. Okay. Now R. There we go. Looking pretty good. Line it up. Dump it. There we go. Get some 70. I'm getting a lot of 70% on this side, which is really cool. And you guys said as I dig deeper, I will get uh, more gold. Now, this might not be deep enough. I, I get that, but that's the um, that's the idea. And the big extractor will dig deeper. That's the whole point. Well, that's not the whole point. It, it, it actually holds more dirt as well. But digging deeper is obviously a big, big plus. Now, let's get this thing full, man. I do so much better, guys, when I'm not recording. I know, you, I know you're probably not going to believe me, but I do so, so much freaking better when I'm not recording. All right, so that probably put me up, but let's get another uh, scoop just to make sure we're good to go. Okay. That should be okay. Bring this up a little bit, 12%. This will fill it up. Again, I, I usually like to go a little bit over 100%. Uh, I waste a little bit of dirt. Who cares? I want to make sure that thing is full. Full as F. All right, so we got four pay dirt buckets. Um, let me turn off the headlights because I was uh, mining during the night and I forgot to turn off my headlights. 
All right, so we've got some magnetite here. Oh, we're down to eight hundred and twenty-four dollars, guys. It's go time, right? We need to get this. Uh, we need to get this magnetite trailer over there and sell it. Sell this magnetite. Now look at all this magnetite I got. I've got probably about two trailers worth of magnetite, honestly. All right, let's move this out of the way. Set this bucket up. This is what I do during the night. Every once in a while, like every like two or three, you know, scoops of dirt, I'll come down here and check the magnetite. And you can see all the buckets I have here. Which is just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Uh, okay, so that's good. Um, how about you? So this one hasn't been getting anything. I'm not sure if it's in a bad spot or what the dealio is. Put it right there. All right, so we got this one here. Okay, and now everything is set up again. I don't know if I actually need two of these in the back, but I usually put two of those back here. I don't know. It doesn't hurt anything, right? So, no reason not to put them back here. Should be pretty good. Okay, so let's see what we got here. All right, so uh, let's turn these off. Let's turn everything off. Turn that off. Went a little bit of, went a little bit of peace and quiet, right? I mean, uh, we still need the, well, yeah, we still need everything else on. Okay, so here is one thing of pay dirt. So we got two things of pay dirt, three buckets of pay dirt, and four buckets of pay dirt. So this thing is, the gold, the dirt one has ten percent. The gold is empty. Um, let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. And let's turn this on. And before we start getting gold, I want to just take a look at the magnetite. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buckets of magnetite, plus a full thing of magnetite. So that is pretty awesome. And I, I forgot the buckets. I probably could get two full magnetite trailers. I would say four buckets of pay dirt, it will get you $20,000 in magnetite, roughly. Okay, we're running out of money, so we got to hurry up. All right, so let's do this. Okay, we're gonna put this back. Uh, I, I don't want to hide things from you guys, but I feel like a jackass. I mined about fifty percent. I mined like three, two or three bucketfuls without a bucket being under here, uh, off camera. So, whoopsie! All right, so let's take this right here, and let's put it over here. Now nah, we'll just dump it in there now. Um, no, actually, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it all together because I want to like pay attention how much I'm getting. Uh, all right, so we're at um, 20. So there's no bucket underneath. I almost dumped that without a bucket underneath. That would have been a, a grievous error. All right, so there we go. Two buckets underneath. Pay dirt. This is the other pay dirt. This is the one that already went through. Let's keep that separated. And there we go. And this should give us 90% 30. 90% 30. Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Now, even though everything was 100%, I'm getting some weird numbers here. I got 85, 54. Like, I don't know. I guess it's, I guess it's random. All right, so now we have all the pay dirt. We're at 7.25. Let's do this, roughly. Well, we'll go to 7.3 because as people work, you know, we'll say 7.3 because as people work, I'll get, as my workers continue working, I'll get more gold, so. All right. What did I say? 7.3? I think so. Okay. Wow, that wasn't even a that wasn't even an ounce, dude. <laughs> okay. All right, seven point three. That's eight. All right, so that's eight. All right, that was eight. Nine. That's one ounce. One point three. One point four. One point five. One point six. Okay, so the first one was under an ounce. That was one point six. All right, we're at nine point six. All right, so 10.6 is one. Come on, 10.6. Come on, 10.6. All right, that's one ounce. 1.2, 1.3. All right, or 1.2, roughly. Okay. Yeah, this this is this is pathetic. It's probably because I'm digging a lot on the surface, though. And there we go. And oh, I, I didn't look. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, so there we go. You guys can tell me what I got on the last one. I wasn't paying attention. All right, guys, doing some quick math um, in between cuts. Um, I made about 4.75 gold, roughly. I went from like 7.3 to 12.1. You know, I'm giving a little bit of leeway there. Probably 4.5 to 4.75 um, gold, depending on how much my uh, workers were making for me. Um, so, and I did the math uh, at $1,200 a pop. That comes out to $5,700. So let's say around $6,000 just to you know, make it a nice even number. That's a lot of work for only $6,000. Um, 
Am I missing something? Or I guess you, I guess you have to take into account your workers as well. Maybe I need to get more work. I think next video I'm going to concentrate on getting the uh, large, the large excavator and uh, more workers. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Um, because yeah, I mean, like that was four full buckets of pay dirt, six thousand dollars. Man, that is um. Whew. I mean, it's not that hard to do, I guess, but um, still, I, I took a lot of time to do it. I mean, so I'm not really sure. Uh, if you guys have any tips on how I can make more money, obviously this this magnetite is going to make me a lot of money, but this is a bug, so they don't want us to be making more than you know six thousand uh, dollars for four full buckets full um, and a little bit of magnetite. I mean, I probably would have got enough magnetite. Well, four full buckets would have got me forty percent magnetite. It wouldn't even it wouldn't even have been half a full a full thing of this. Uh, four full things of magnetite is technically four thousand dollars. So I guess with the magnetite and the gold, I would have made about ten, which isn't terrible. But with this bug, I'm gonna freaking rake in the cash. Look at this. There you go, ten thousand dollars. So now I can afford to pay my guys. So I got ten thousand dollars. That is going to pay off my the, probably the rest of my loan, and it's gonna afford me to pay my workers. Um, I think next video. Actually, I might do this off camera. I'm not really sure. I haven't decided yet. But um, I really want to go back to town. And you guys will let me know in the comments, I'm sure. But I want to go back to town and maybe get some more um, hog pan pumps and kind of throw them on the ground and see if that allows me to hire another worker because that would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know if that's the way it works or not. Um, it, it, I would imagine, like, that's not the way it works because it would be so easy to just hire a bunch of workers then. But I'm not really sure. And we are going to test it out. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.